Hello, greetings to all Zelda fans. You can now play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game to your PC. And if you don't know how to do this and how to set up, how to install and how to optimize this game to run your PC, then this video tutorial is for you to watch. So, first of all, these are all the three files you need to uh, have into your PC. And also you will need to install an application called Regen Simulator. So for those who don't know what is Regen Simulator, Regen Simulator Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that will enable you to play Switch games as long as you have all of these files here installed in Regen. So as of recording this video tutorial, the latest build is 1.1756. And I'm going to be hovering down here and let's show you guys that I have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And it's in XEI file format and it's a 16 GB file size game. So um, I'm going to minimize this first. And I'm gonna show you where to get Ryujinx first, okay? So to do this, open a browser and just type in Ryujinx emulator and hit search. Now go to ryujinx.org, that is their official website. So go to download here. And if you're using Mac, be sure that you are on Mac OS 11 or later version in order for you to install Ryujinx. And if you're from Linux, you can get the installer here. And if you're from Windows, just like me, you can get the installer from here. So since I have already done the installation process in my part so i'm just gonna skip on this part here because the downloading installation process is really easy to do and it's really straightforward and anyone can do this so i just show you guys though guys the official way to get regions so be sure to get regions only in this website okay so i'm just gonna minimize this now and i'm gonna assume that you have already installed regions emulator so if this is your first installation be sure to boot up regions and run it now and then you'll be met with certain errors saying you will need some certain files installed in Regen in order for it to run and play Switch games. So what are those files? Those files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Uh, these files should be in both version 16.0.2 in order for it to run and play the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game. And this game should be in XEI file format in order for Regen to detect and play this game. So without these files, Regen will not be able to play Switch games, okay? So if you're asking me where to get all of these files, the only legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which is modded and has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those files, just copy all of the firmware files and the keys files from your Switch to your PC. Now, in order for you to get the Tears of the Kingdom game, there's no other way to do this but to purchase the game. You own the game, you have a physical copy of the game so that you have uh, supported Nintendo in that part. And you can now uh, legally digitally back up that game into an XEI file format just like mine here. So, if you don't have a Switch or if you have a Switch but don't know how to uh, install a custom firmware or mod it and do the things that I've said then I'm just gonna save you guys at the hassle and teach you where to get all of these files so in order for you to get all of these files I'm just gonna leave a QR code here in the screen wherein you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that the QR code will redirect you to the page wherein you can get all these files so once you are in that page be sure to hover down into the middle part of the website so that you'll get the um, XEI file format of Tears of the Kingdom. And once you have done that, um, over down to the bottom part of the website, so that you'll get the latest keys and firmware file from the Switch to your phone into your PC. So since you have used your phone to uh, scan a code and uh, have downloaded all these files from your phone, all you have to do is just connect the, uh, connect your phone to via a uh, USB cable if you're using Android and then transfer all of these files here from your PC. So I'm just going to assume that you have already done that and that you have a copy of these files now. So it's time to install them. To do this, just go to File, go to Open Regions folder, and then Open System folder here. Open the Keys zip file file here. And all you have to do is drag and drop and copy and paste these files into this folder. This folder should be empty because it's your first installation. You close. Now close in that. Now it's time to install the firmware. To install the firmware, go to Tools, Install Firmware, install Firmware from XCI or zip file. And then choose the firmware file here and hit Open. And it will say that we'll have to install this firmware version. Hit Yes and I'll say successful installed. As you can see here, system version down below is in 16.0.2, the same as the firmware and the keys files here. So uh, that's what uh, you'll know that the, the installation is successful. And also it will show you all of your Switch games and shows their game icon. 
So if you see an icon that is blank or black, that means that you are using an outdated firmware and keys. So be sure to follow all the steps in this guide so that you'll get only the latest version and the files, the game files you need in order to play in your PC. So um, the next step now is to optimize your viewings so that you'll be able to play the Tears of the Kingdom game with no issues at all. To do this, just go to options, go to settings, and at this part, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here on out. So the game directories is where you put your Switch games and it could be anywhere in your PC as long as you know where it is. And also your Switch games should be in XEI or NSP file format in order for uh in order for Eugene's to detect that game. Now go to input, use a controller rather than mouse and keyboard and playing Switch games so that there will be no hassle. Go to player one, hit configure, and then your control will be detected here. If you're using PlayStation or Xbox controller, connect them and just map them up according to your liking. And also the dead zone for both left and right sticks should be in 0.20% so that there'll be no drifting into your playthrough. And once done, hit save. Now go to the system in this part, pause the video, copy every setting as G. Now go to the graphics tab. This is the most important part and be sure to copy everything. Now graphics back and model threading should be on. Graphics back and API should be in Vulkan. Preferred GPU is your dedicated graphics card. In the enhancements, you should enable shader cache and enable macro utility. Resolution scale should be in two times resolution so that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle that, then revert to the native resolution. Post processing effect should be none. Upscale should be bilinear. And isotropic filtering should be auto. And aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And once done, hit apply and save. Now your Ryujinx is now fully capable of playing Nintendo Switch games fully optimized, such as The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom game, and all of the previous Nintendo Switch games. So a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not going to be able to show you a gameplay of this game running into my PC, because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content, and they don't really want it to be shown in it in the internet or in YouTube. So if I show you guys a gameplay that this game is now running into my PC using Eurojinx, then my channel will get in trouble, my channel will be taken down, and my videos will be taken down. So guys, I hope that you do understand all that part, but I'm willing to show you some little bit of compromise, and I'm going to boot up the game into the title screen so that there is proof that this video tutorial of mine works. So once I am the title screen, I'm just going to stop the emulation from there, but I am going to blur the screen of Ryujinx here so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel and into my video. And again, please do understand on that part because it's really hardcore in this kind of content and they don't really want anyone to know about this. So here, as you can see, I am now in the title screen and the game runs. So I'm just going to stop the emulation from here. So, as long as you followed all the steps in this video tutorial, you're guaranteed to be able to play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of the game to your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer all of them. Please subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye for now.